your bulletin, you will find our course that we're starting with this morning. You don't have to stand up for this one. Uh, it's Heavenly Sunshine. We're going to sing through it two times. Sometimes it's substituting uh, numbers and letters and just, just different things, but uh, we, we do want to have a good time. Uh, other announcements. Our Bible study will not meet tonight. We will start back next Sunday night. We are doing a wonderful Bible study. The Beverly Hillbillies. <laughs> and we're applying their episodes to our Christian faith. So uh, we've got at least two more episodes, and I may make up some episodes after that. So, uh, anyway, we'll get back with that next Sunday night at 6 o'clock. Bingo! Every Tuesday night. There's here in the community. Come and join with us. Uh, it costs you a dollar to play from 6 to 7 o'clock. We uh, have little prizes we get from mostly the Dollar Tree. Uh, but we, it's fellowship, we have a good time, and uh, every dollar that we take in for bingo goes for the backpack program at Draper Elementary School. We, we not only bring food that we take down to First Methodist, that's where they actually put it together, but we also uh, fund with whatever we make on our bingo program. So that's, that's great. Uh, our mission statement, we will share with others all we know of God. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit showing God's love and care. Check out YouTube. We've got several of our services on that. So uh, uh, if you have to stay home some Sunday, go to the internet, pull it up. You'll find, I think we've got at least nine services on there at this point, and gradually putting more and more and more. Our blood drive on Friday. I appreciate the people that helped with that so much. We collected, First Methodist and that of you, we collected 23 pints of blood. Our goal was 25. That was great. And I do appreciate everybody that, that helped with that. We'll be doing it again, our two churches, uh, in approximately a year. But other Methodist churches in our area, we have 11 Methodist churches that are in the Eden Cluster network. And different ones are grouping together every couple of months to have a blood drive. So uh, uh, if, if 
You can always go to one of the other churches and also donate. It's, it's important. I would like to thank uh, Roy and Peggy Kendrick. I think they lived at this church for the last about three weeks. Uh, just doing things that hadn't been done in years. You know, at our home we do spring cleaning. We, we, we clean the, the blinds or the windows or, or whatever, mop the floors and, and so forth. And some things have been done recently that really did need to be done and when we could see uh, everything, well not, we don't see everything that was done, but, but we know that you worked hard and we appreciate everything that you did do. So thank you for your hard work. <clears throat> Today is, of course, homecoming, and I'll introduce Reverend Steve Joyce a little bit later today. Uh, we, we claim him as one of our own. Next Saturday, uh, Metaview and First Methodist and Draper are feeding the working crew at Habitat House in Stonewall. Uh, we'll provide them lunch for them. So if you're interested in going over to Habitat House, you know, let me know. Uh, our church is providing uh, water, cookies, and apples. And First Methodist is providing some other stuff. The 20th is Laity Sunday. That's next Sunday. Uh, Joe Zanetti will be speaking next Sunday. And I'll be asking different people in the church to uh, step up and do various things that I normally do. Uh, the 26th of October, we're having a hot dog supper. So please come, and if you have some special requirements, let me know, and we'll take care of you. Uh, please keep Bill Brown in your prayers. He is still in Moorhead Hospital. They have discovered that the cancer has returned, and uh, they're going to move him to a nursing home to try and build him up for a very short time. He'll then go for surgery, and then at that point, back to a nursing home trying to get the trachea to fit him to out and uh, you know be able to you know regain his strength and go back to, to everyday life. So please keep Bill in your prayers. Um, last Sunday evening, uh, Peg and Roy and I were at Leaksville United Methodist Church and we collected $240 for the celebration of ministries uh, of Rockingham. Uh, the money went to the Cooperative Christian Ministries. The Cooperative Christian Ministries is a group, if, if somebody comes and says, you know, I can't pay my doctor bill this month, I, I, they're going to turn off my electricity tomorrow. This is the group that various churches collect love offerings or donate to, and we send, they'll check them out and see if they really do need help. So it's, it's a really a, a big uh, benefit to me as pastor, I don't have to go trying to check out people. Uh, it's already in place to do it, and various churches around the Eden area support them. Anyway, we collected two hundred forty dollars, and we also collected sixty-five food items that can go in their uh, food bank. So we're very pleased with that. Uh, a few little notes about today homecoming. Uh, the person that's been a member of this church longer than anyone else is Shirley Stevens. And uh, I think Shirley's probably out in the fellowship building right now. Okay. So uh, anyway, we appreciate that. Uh, we have 49 members of our church. We went up two, but then we lost two this past year. Um, we lost Barbara Stoltz, and we lost Ford and Slayton. So uh, uh, we certainly miss them, and uh, we certainly count them as two of our wonderful saints that have gone home. Uh, today is Metaview's 68th birthday. So uh, we've been in existence 68 years, and a number of you that are sitting here have been a large part of that 68 years. And we appreciate all the work that was done. The idea for the church began in 1943. Land was donated by Mr. and Ms. J.P. Thornton. Uh, they decided on their name in March of 1944. They were on the roof looking around and they were looking toward Danville. And they, they, they saw all the meadows around and, and so forth. And 
that, that's where the name MetaView came from. So an interesting way of coming up with the name. Uh, our last living original member of the church, uh, that founding group was Georgie Ferguson. And our first pastor was Reverend Silas Strader. He served from 1944 to 1960. And I've had the wonderful pleasure of being here <coughs> since 1991. So this is my 23rd year. That's uh, it's been, a, it's been a, a thrill to be here and uh, be a part. Uh, one other announcement. Uh, the city of Eden sent all the pastors around the Eden area a letter saying that the Lord's Pantry, this is a group here in Eden that provides uh, food, clothing, you know, various help to people, it's in very dire straits right now. And uh, if you come up with some ideas of how they can be helped in some way, uh, we need to do that, whether it's funding or just various volunteers or other ideas trying to bring in money. It costs them about $5,000 a month to do their work. And if things don't change, they are desperate, and they could close. So think about you know, any ways that we might be able to help with the Lord's Pantry. Do we have other announcements today we want to share? Do we have any birthdays last week or this coming week? Carmen, you got a birthday? Okay, we got a birthday. We'll sing happy birthday in a moment. Any anniversaries? Yes. I have worked them all. Okay. We're going to sing happy birthday first. of our God. Out of our busy lives, we center ourselves on God. We gather to celebrate the mighty works of our God. If you'll remain standing, please turn in your hymn book, number 61, Come Thou Almighty King. Come Thou Almighty King, 61. <laughs>
responsive reading is Psalm 44. If you'll turn to page 779, please. 779. We have heard with our ears, O God. Our forebears have told us what deeds you performed in their days, in the days of old. You were your own hand. Drove out the nations, but our forebears you planted. You afflicted the peoples, but our forebears you set free. For not by their own sword did they win the land, nor did their own arm give them victory. But your right hand and your arm. You are my ruler and my God, who ordains victories for Jacob. We push down our foes. Through your name, we tread down our assailants. For not in my bow do I trust, nor can my sword save me. But you have saved us from our foes. You have put to confusion those who hate us. In God, we have boasted continually. And we will give thanks to your name forever. Many friends we don't see often, but delighted when we do. So homecoming seems to be the perfect time to help make that dream come true. It's a time to come together in song and prayer and listen to a special sermon that's been carefully prepared. Of times we hear special music because there's music in the air. Then we all love and appreciate our favorite little choir that we used to have. So today just seems that perfect time to fellowship and have fun, to thank God for his many blessings he's bestowed on everyone. It's a time to bring together both old friends and our new, and maybe get a big handshake or perhaps a hug or two. It's a time to enjoy reminiscing about the friends of long ago, a time to recall past years or repeat tales that you've been told. A time that would bring sadness as we think of those no longer here. Or a time to rejoice because God spared us another year. A homecoming day reflects many things. There's no exception here. It's a time to put the past behind and look forward to another year. So to complete this special occasion, you'll find delicious food to please next door. So soon we'll ask God to take us safely home again with fond memories to cherish and adore. Thanks for sharing with us, God bless, pastor and family and church family. So even though Laverne's not with us physically anymore, uh, she wrote hundreds of poems, and we still appreciate her poems. Has God blessed anyone this week? Why well, he sure has blessed me. I'm going to tell you, I was around here and see some of the invites that I had made. And thank God that those people are still here to me, and I'm here to say, I appreciate you coming to our home. Thank you. Amen. I just wanted to say that we had a really good trip this past week. I got us there safe and got us home safe. And it was wonderful to spend the week with my parents. And we had a great time. So I'm thankful for that. Terrific. Family are important, and to be able to spend time together is great. Plus, Mama's more 
only breakfast cook in this one. <laughs> okay. Others. I, I saw God at work on Friday as, as we had all these people come in. Several uh, couldn't give because of various reasons. And uh, we had a, a little old lady that was there. She won't mind that. And she mm -hmm. kept calling people around in the community. Uh, to, to, to come, and, and we had a number of people that we hadn't thought about coming who did and donated blood, and uh, because of that was the reason we were having a, a very successful blood drive on Friday. And not only was that a blessing to us, it certainly was going to be a blessing to those people that need blood and is there for them. So um, that's great. <laughs> Others. <laughs> We thank God for all the blessings that he sends our way because God is good. And God is still in charge of this world no matter what goes on. So uh, we're thankful for that. We have many that we want to lift up today. We want to lift up Roy and Peggy Kendrick, the nation of Israel, the jobless situation. Uh, our military, Doris Clark, Matthew Newman, Matthew Marsubian, Samuel Joyce, Sybil Stroud, Roy Campbell, uh, Ruby Cardwell, Michaela Kendrick, those suffering for Christ, uh, Betty and Monk Jarrett, Lisa, uh, Juanita Robertson, Noah Putnam, Cameron Perdue, Dr. Raymond Clark, Cole Parlier, um, Peggy Stoddard, Mr. and Ms. Bob Teeters, Doris McCracken, Loretta Whitesale, my mom, Truett, Moselle Parlier, uh, our schools, Peggy's son-in-law, Diane Cezio, Carol Turner, Jimmy and Missy, Ellen Powell, many unspoken requests I'm aware of. Wilbur Boyd, Billy's brother, Mike, Harold uh, Grover, uh, Grove, um, Freddie Godkey, Don Helton, Joey Zanetti, Francis Alcorn, Gertrude Birch, Ashley Shockley, Carolyn, Robert Elric, uh, Matthew Thomas, Francis Horsley, uh, Dylan Phillips, Bubba Ratliff, Vivian Slayton, uh, Judy Morris, Ronnie Booth, Linda French, Karen Johnson, Merlin and Lou Smith, Betty Finney, um, Jean Brooks, Heather Doss, Barry O'Dell, Elijah Vernon, Walt <laughs> Montgomery, uh, Greg Martin, uh, Bill Brown, Steve Kendrick, Dennis Kendrick, uh, Ronald Denny, uh, Mary Lawson, Billy's mom, uh, Roy's cousin, Ann Penn, uh, Algerra Baker, uh, and Jordan, uh, Mac, El Marie, Mary. Uh, do we have others we want to lift up by voice today? Yes. Wayne, I have a friend or friends in Lexington. I'd like to you put this on a prayer list as friends in Lexington. Okay. We have a problem, and it's a family problem, sickness and so forth. And I asked him in my invitation to our homecoming, if he would mind me allowing me to be rather, to put him on our prayer list, and he said he'd be more than glad to. And I said, well, I will put you as a Lexington friend. That's, that's great. I have one a little closer to home. My son has been burned to his condition. Okay, we'll, we'll certainly remember him. We've, we've, we've got Mike on our list here, but we'll certainly continue to pray. <coughs> Others. Yes. My grandson, Brandon Younger. Okay, Brandon Younger. And a young man named Stephen Shockley. Okay. Okay, others. How about individual requests by lift of hand? Let us pause for our meditation and our prayers.
Dear Father, we come to you today so thankful for your love, your forgiveness, your mercy. Father, thank you for all the good things that you do in our lives that we seldom ever take time to stop and think about, much less thank you for. Father, be with each one that is sick. Lift them up. Remove their pain. Allow healing to occur. <coughs> Use doctors and nurses and medicine, caregivers, and beyond that, Father, we ask that you in, be a part of these lives and that sometimes you as the master healer has to actually touch that person for them to get better. And we ask that you do that if it's within your will. Father, be with those that are grieving. Bring them peace and comfort. Be with those that are looking for jobs. Help them not to give up. But, but to keep looking until something comes their way. Father, we thank you for this church, the many years that we've been right here in this community serving you. We thank you for the saints that have worked here serving you in so many wonderful ways. Father, show us your vision for us. Give us energy, wisdom, courage that we might look around us and see how we can be effective today. Help us to do things that we don't feel comfortable doing, but still is, is helpful in caring for other people and making disciples. Father, be with our speaker today. Bless him as he leads us in scripture and thought today. Father, we thank you for each one that is able to be here today. Many of them long histories related to this church. Father, we ask that you fill us with your Holy Spirit. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This time I'd like to ask our ushers if they would come forward for me. Heaven, 
and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Now, I'll remind you that aren't aware when it says Holy Catholic Church, that means Church Universal. It's not the Roman Catholic Church. So, uh, just for your information. Our next hymn is a joyous hymn. Uh, there's within my heart a melody. Number 380. 380, please. just a minute about being thankful. You know, some, sometimes people do things for us and we just kind of take it for granted and we don't say, <coughs> you know, this happened to Jesus one time. 
there were 10 lepers, people that were sick, and Jesus healed them. And all 10 of them left. One of them came back and said, Jesus, thank you for healing me. He had, had a disease called leprosy. It was a really bad disease. But out of 10 people, only one came back and thanked Jesus for what he did for him. So we need to remember every single day that we need to thank not only Jesus, but people around us that do things for us. You know, tell them thank you for the little things that they do. Because they do things because they want to help us, they love us, they care about us. But it, it helps so much when we say thank you back to them. Let us pray. Dear Father, we thank you so much for this example from the Bible of saying thank you. Help us to follow this one person that had leprosy and thank Jesus and others when they do things for us. Thank you. We ask this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for coming up. If you like coin, there's the uh, ark right there that you can put it in. And then I've got something for you. Okay, you can pick up one item that you want, and then you can get some candy. <coughs> That's that's some, it's like gummy bears, but you can also get get some candy out of it. You you can get everybody can get one of those. So pick you up something if you would like it. Okay, and some candy out of the bucket. Okay, okay, and you can get one of those. If you like it. You got one of those. Okay, that's fine. Today we're very, very pleased to have with us several musicians that's going to share with us in song. This time I'd like to ask uh, Nick and Dalen if they would come up and share with us, and a little bit later we've got some more special music. So come on up and share. Mm -hmm.
speaker today. Uh, over to my right, we have, okay, get ready. Uh, we, we have a library. We, we're still working on it. It's not quite, it's, uh, well, always, I guess, be a work in progress, hmm. but uh, and you might step in and see the work that we've done uh, on the way out to the fellowship building a little bit later this morning. So Today, we're so pleased to have with us Reverend Steve Joyce. Uh, Steve has certainly been a good 
friend not only to myself but to our church. He's come and he's been able to uh, help with our revival services a number of times. He was pastor at First Methodist Church in Draper for a number of years. He's a wonderful Christian. He's retired and, and yet uh, I, I would imagine if you looked at his schedule, uh, that word retired probably doesn't really apply. So, Steve, thank you for coming today. Thank you for sharing. And we just turn the program over to you and let the Lord lead you. I was hoping you'd let me sing first. I still have to follow that. That was good. <laughs> thank you. Oh, I enjoyed that, you know. You've heard of Dalen and Vincent? This is Dalen. <laughs> bluegrass fans, you know. I'm <laughs> kidding. Had to be a bluegrass fan to get that. That was guy. I especially love that last one. Well, thank you. To do some recording with that. Thank you so much. Good, good to uh, see you. See you. Good to see you, ladies. Sure is. Yeah. I know you're proud of him, aren't you? <laughs> okay, Deva, sung some beautiful songs for. You. I want you. I want to get you to sing it now. And we're gonna. I want you to help me sing. Not easy to follow them, so I want you to help me. Sing. Uh, it's a little sing along. This is one that, uh, uh, if you didn't learn this when you was a uh, child in, in Sunday school, shame on you, but I'm sure you did. This little light of mine. I'm going uh, to start to add a little bit of a bluegrass twist to it. Uh, so you, you join, uh, join in with this, okay? Let me sing the verse to begin with, and you join the chorus, okay? Then, as you know it, join me with the verses, all right? Jesus gave me the light, I'm gonna let it shine. Jesus gave me the light, I'm gonna let it shine. Jesus gave me the light, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Thank you, Nick. Nick, 
I'm leading us on there. Good kind of way. Yeah. All right. Here's one that uh, I hope you've heard. He's still working on me. You heard that? He will heard that. If not, you're going to learn it a little bit. Okay. He's still working on me. Let me sing for you. To make me what I'll be. It took him just a week to make the moon and the stars, the sun and the earth and Jupiter and Mars. I love him patiently, must be. He's still working on me. Let me sing a verse. You enjoy me that chorus then, okay? <laughs> there really ought to be a sign up on my heart saying, Don't judge me yet. There's an unfinished part. But I'll be perfect just according to his plan. Mastered by the <laughs> finished by the master's left hand. Oh, have fun on the words. He's still working on me to make me what I ought to be. It took him just a week to make the moon and the stars, the sun and the earth and Jupiter and Mars. How loving and patient he must be. He's still working on me. If I do that verse, please. There really ought to be a sign up on my heart saying, Don't judge me yet. There's an unfinished part. I'll be perfect just according to his plan, fashioned by the master's loving hand. Cause he's still working on me. To make me what I ought to be. Make the moon and the stars, the sun and the earth and Jupiter and Mars. How loving and patient he must be. He's still working on me. One more time, everybody. He's still working on me. Make me what I ought to be. To make the moon and the stars. Sun and the earth and Jupiter and Mars. I love him and patient he must be. He's still working on me. He's still working on me. He's still working on me. Aren't you glad he's still working on us? He's not finished with me yet. He's been working on me a long time, but I hope he's not finished. <laughs> One final uh, song then. Uh, my daughter used to sing this to me one time. We were here in Eden a long time ago. She was barely a teenager, and we did a little, a little recording together, a little CD. Not worth a CD. CD hadn't come in then. No <laughs> What are they going to make after CDs? It used to be records and then tapes and then CDs. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we sang this together, so I always thank her. Learning to leave, learning to leave. I'm learning to lean on Jesus. Finding more power than I. I found 